You're watching Old Mates Backyard Tech. Seems like every day of the week or every other day of the week, a tech company is in court, either up against another tech company, regulators, the general public, what have you. Well, Max Butterfly Keyboard has landed them in court under a lawsuit. And guess what? It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, MacBook Butterfly Keyboard lawsuit will proceed after all. From the Backyard Tech Channel. This is BYT News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is BYT News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for midweek Wednesday morning and this one came in to my emails a few hours ago. This is from Slash Gear. MacBook Butterfly Keyboard lawsuit will proceed after all. Apple may have finally changed back, or changed forward, to a more familiar keyboard mechanism in its new MacBook Pro, but that doesn't change the past one bit. It is also not enough, apparently, to save the company from having to fight a class action suit hurled against it over its previous, quote-unquote, butterfly keyboards. It tried to get the case dismissed, but was shot down effectively giving the green light to move the case forward in court. That is, if it isn't settled out of it first. Apple introduced a new kind of keyboard switch in the 2015 MacBooks. It was dubbed a butterfly because of how it resembled one, uh, how it resembled one, and it was promised to be a pleasant and out and on the outside as it was beautiful on the inside. This time, however, Apple's famed reality distortion field wasn't enough to sway consumers' minds, especially those that have to deal with broken keyboards. So that was the butterfly mechanism. Now, I remember reading about this in something back in 2015. And my original thought, if my memory is right, was this this is going to fail. All right. So you've got the traditional scissor mechanism, and then you had Apple's butterfly. The pretty switches, it turned out, were quite fragile to even the smallest amount of dust particles, not to mention heavy use that the laptop users are known for. For almost four years... Apple never backed down from its new technology. That didn't read right, did it? Let's start that one again. The pretty switches, it turns out, were quite fragile to even the smallest amount of dust particles, not to mention heavy use the laptop users are known for. For almost four years, Apple never backed down from its new technology, only offering repairs and replacements with a similar but slightly improved butterfly switch one that had a protective membrane that was insufficient to, to really address all matters. The class action suit claims that Apple knew about these and hid the facts from consumers. Can anyone actually find a company anywhere in the world that openly and honestly comes out to consumers and said we were wrong right off the meat of the bat? I've done it again, haven't I? Worse than replacing broken keyboards with the same problematic one, the plaintiff alleges that Apple didn't offer enough compensation, especially from out-of-warranty repairs. San Jose, California District Judge Edward Davilia seems to agree that Apple will have to face its accusers. Whether it actually reaches the court will depend on whether Apple chooses to settle the case before that happens. The butterfly keyboards have been giving the company not just headaches, but even financial difficulties since the very beginning. It wouldn't be a surprise if it decides to simply settle the matter out, settle the matter and put it in the past once and for all. Righto, Mac users. 
I never came across a Mac with a butterfly keyboard. I'm only going off what I've read, what I've been told, what I've overheard. Um, some people will say they're Mac butterfly keyboards. I know I'm getting myself into a world of pain here. Um, I'm sick and tired of people chewing my head off because I say things with this sort of stuff. But what I've heard is that the butterfly keyboards are problematic in a big way. Now, some Mac users will say their butterfly keyboards have never given them any trouble whatsoever. So the question is, why are some people taking Apple to court? Is it a possibility they've just been too rough with them? Now, old mate's keyboard cops are belting. How it's held up, I don't know. My Microsoft keyboard cops are thrashing. It's often the first thing I hit when I get annoyed. Um, is the butterfly keyboard a problem? Is it unreliable? Or have people been too harsh with it and broken them? Do you think Apple will settle before it gets to court? Or will Apple go all the way to court and try and beat the case? But there we are. So, the, uh, the MacBook butterfly keyboard lawsuit looks like it will get to court after all. Stick around, a bizarre news story coming up for you soon. Have a good one all. Cheers.